corn. All right. So I've been just painting here. I haven't, uh, it's always bugged me. It looks, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I was totally thinking of Tom Thompson stuff and I was totally thinking of West Wind. This, you know, I was trying to think of like, if I could do my own iconic um, tree <laughs> or iconic Canadian painting, whatever. So like this was pretty much done from memory and uh and i look at it and it looks it's kind of something bugs me about it it's kind of dull hey cindy like it's just just you know when i look at it, like tom thompson's paintings it's just so much better this looks like a kid's painting almost so and i'm looking at it, i can see just like this is just kind of dull and boring here and it's flat and it looks like it's it's almost goofy the shapes are almost goofy so uh, i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do but i'm gonna i'm gonna you know I, okay i know what the problem is the problem is i wasn't looking at nature that was the problem right i was just making it up and being a visual person like you copy things right visually so i was feeling like i had to do it from memory and make it up to be more original and one of the things that kind of I, I need i need uh, visual references i need it i need, I need um I, well if i'm going to do a like a nature landscape painting i i think i need uh, real references because it's just, it's just flatness to it. Um, so anyhow, I was just uh, pulled up some Tom Thompson um, images, and I'll show you what, what I've got here. Let me click here. Okay, so um, this one's called Defiant Sprites. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually the name of the painting. That's just uh, what the file is called. I just uh, I didn't bother to look at the name of the paintings. This one says pine trees at sunset. This one says Don Lenord, so in the north. Is that all I have? And that was going to be for music. I put, uh, I got a YouTube for music. Um, okay, so <coughs> why did I pick these three? Okay, how do I show you what I was, okay. So like with this one, I'm, I'm looking at the shape of these trees. Like I don't, I don't remember ever seeing trees kind of like this with these kind of lines and i and i did them i i i kind of did them a bit in my painting if i go to here like you can see there's a couple of those wispy little things originally my tree was like all droopy and sad looking because i was because i was kind of remembering um what was it called west wind shit i should have i should have gotten an image of that um i'm sure i have it somewhere but anyhow okay let's go back up to here so this one i'm also looking at if you look at it you can see like all the little all the little brush strokes and when we look at mine it's just so plain so i might go back into mine uh, like looking at this one there's a couple things else in this he also has like like some more layers more layering see this so there are these hopefully you can see my cursor i don't know but um there are these green foreground and then he's got like um let's see if i can zoom in brown oh yeah that works well like over here, if you look here, some some really nice different kind of color patterns. <clears throat> and let's go back to my piece of crap and zoom in. And it's just so gross, to be honest. Like it's just so. <clears throat> what is that? Just bah. Okay, and then for this one, I was looking at this one, thinking about it. Maybe it might. Wait, what, what can you view? Wait, which? Oh, you're not in the view. Let me go back to the front top, uh, computer view. Okay, so in this one, in the north, <clears throat> what struck me about this one is the shadows. I like how he's got that orange, and then it looks like it's like a blue and some purples, creating like from the shadows. So if I go to mine, and I think I did this before, and then I killed it. 
which was um, the bottom part is lacking. It's just either I'm going to do some, some, some foreground, like those layers, like those green things I was talking about, or maybe I'll put like light shadows coming across because there is a kind of a strong sunlight effect thing happening here. I gotta be careful because you know the light source is always excuse me okay and then this one um are you in the computer view nope we'll go back to here okay and this one pine tree at sunset look at this cute little one so small and i just look at all the like he's 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 got better so much better brush strokes look at this he they're they're thicker here and then he takes his fine brush and he does these little wispy little uh branches here and you know he's got he's got nature as the guide for him he can just look straight ahead and he sees this stuff and so mine is becoming some sort of i don't know just yeah yeah okay so so the question now is, what the hell do I do? Um, am I back on the uh, actual view of the uh, thing? Yeah, OK. So the question is now, what do I do? I look at this, and I think, OK, I might do this. This is stealing, for sure. If you, if you look at West Wind, his tree, I'm 90% sure has a lighter interior and I can see why he did it right now it looks flat so I might go in and just steal that from from Tom Thompson completely ripping him off uh, that wish you know his his curves and goes like this and it's just so much more interesting so the reason why I did it, it creates a bit more sense of uh, roundness to the to tree. Like there's a back, back oh my goodness, doing some, there's a backlit kind of effect here. So that's why I did it. And I'm gonna do that. And I thought about screwing this painting up a bit too, like painting over it and like making weird streaks just to just to mess it up because it's it looks like it's trying too hard to to be a Tom Thompson. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, so what I have here is I got a, a clean palette just because the palette I was using yesterday had too much paint on it that was like two weeks old because I hadn't painted in like two weeks. So there's a little bit left over. I might use some of that. Um. Mm. I haven't even had one coffee yet. Ridiculous. It's already 11.15. Holy crap. Okay. Oh yeah. So maybe I think the the water could use some like a medium, small size little uh, brush strokes like right across here. Okay. And so maybe I'll just start with the stuff I know needs to happen, which is the orange along here. Um, maybe there should be like little thin lines. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna go, I might do that, I might do this. Um, where is this front scene? Okay, uh, computer view. All right, so <laughs> this is a different type of tree, isn't it? I was looking at this thing. I don't know what the hell kind of tree it is, but it's different. I just like those little wispy little things, those little thin lines. And uh, it might look stupid if I have them there. I don't know, okay, I'm babbling, aren't I? Okay, so let's just do the easy thing, and I could probably just use this, this get some colors from here. Get some colors from here. Today, I'm okay. I'm gonna complain for just a short time, but. Uh, the ringing is really loud right now, so I'm kind of in a grumpy mood. Uh, I don't have anything to say, but of course I'm going to keep rambling on because it helps get rid of the sound. It's just a matter of time before I really regret saying something. 
without realizing it. Okay, so here's one idea. This is one idea. I'm actually, it's kind of thin paint. That's quite, what I might do is, is up here, ah, shut the hell. No, no, keep talking, keep talking. Okay, let's just see. All right, so I just did that. That was probably too, too bright to, uh, okay. Came on strong. Now, this might dry out actually because it's kind of thin. I'm going to do a bit more orange, dark color, orangey color. And I'm not going to make it too Van Gogh. Uh, with the farts, the uh, thick, thick edges. Okay. All right. So let's just, let's, let's just leave that. I don't know if that worked. I don't know if that did what I wanted to do, but it did something. Okay. Now. You got this crazy light coming down. Why wouldn't there be like some insane light coming off of this land? Let's just screw around. You know what? How about here's what I need to do. I hey dude from Nepal, I think. What's up, man? Wait, wait. Peace. Here, there, peace. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, you know what I should do? I should just consider this painting a write-off. If I consider it just fucked excuse my french or you know then maybe i just won't have to worry about it too much but i want to so we i didn't i didn't intend to do pink but it just came out <clears throat> pink is kind of a silly color isn't it the problem is i don't even know what the hell this vegetation stuff is over here Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go look at a Tom Thompson painting. Okay, so this one I don't need right now. Let's. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll just show you what I'm what I'm looking at here. All right. So where's that other one? This one here? Yeah. This is a nice painting. Oh, it's so much better. That's the biggest thing I'm, I think I'm struggling with is I've been kind of depressed about the fact that I'm, I'm not doing anything that special. I mean, I felt this way pretty much my whole life in that I felt like so much has already been done. So, you know, you know I do it sometimes. And I looked at, um, I was looking at some guy, some artist who's apparently very famous. It seems like a lot of the famous people, the stuff they do, honestly, I just think is garbage. Oh, it pisses me off so much. It's just garbage. It's like sensational, just attention seeking garbage. Oh, that's what makes me depressed, I think, because it feels like, is that what I got to do? To get in. Like, and do I, yeah, it's a weird thing, like, get noticed and not noticed. Because I don't want to be known, but also I also don't want to be, a, like, a, doing this for nothing and, and being kind of a failure, you know what I mean? Like, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? Okay, just keep talking. Okay, huh. I just picked up this color, which is the same as this thing. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. There's nothing here that's grabbing me right now in this painting to put in mind. Maybe what I should do, okay, other than I like these, these thin lines here. That's nice. That's a bit more sophistication. If you look carefully, this is what I'm just thinking aloud here. Okay, I'm just spitballing this shit. Okay, oops, about my camera. Like, look at these thin little delicate lines. Maybe that's what my thing needs. Maybe it just needs me to go in and make some thin, delicate lines. Okay, so go back to my view. Oops. Let me my camera. What do I need to do? Like, this is the wrong type of... What a color is this? Oh, shit. Yeah, let's just put it in the water. Why not? This is kind of like this nice peach color. Let's put some in the sky. Let's put some up here. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in 
And I'm gonna break this thing up a bit. Cause right now these things are a bit too silly looking. I don't know. Who cares if I fuck it up? Ah, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. Um, maybe this will be the fuck it uh, episode. Uh, I'm reading your thing. I know when I look at some of those acknowledged artists, I look and what the hell is that? Just blocks the colors or lines doesn't speak to you. Yeah. It's also the subject matter too. It's like fucking, you know, you know, you do something horrible like pedophilia and murder positions. Like I'm, I was thinking specifically of what's that, what's his name? Podesta? Uh, the brother of John Podesta who has this like, has these, uh, has a sculpture. And it's like based on it's f f fucked up shit. It's this sculpture of a I think a headless torso contorted backwards, and it was like I didn't know this. I, I like apparently remember Jeffrey Dahmer, the dude who would the cannibal psychopath murderer who would uh, he would basically that's what he would did. Apparently he would position like the bodies after he killed them into these backwards twisted positions. You know, and someone made a sculpture that was like identical to that, and he's got this thing hanging. I know he's he's some art collector, and it's just like, oh, that it's why why is it just to show off? Is it what is the point of it to find them to, just to shock people, just to go look what I did, look at me? Oh god damn, it fucking pisses me off. Oh, this is a nice little brush. Or, um, what's her name? Abraham Amovic? Uh, she's like a performance artist. It's just, it embarrasses my brain to, to think that it's like, they, they, it's, you know what it is? It feels like marketing and advertising, you know, tricking you. I don't know. You know, the whole screwed up thing is like, I don't know. I don't know what is, uh, this is my lifelong question about what is art. And, uh, I always, this is why I don't, I don't, you know, I'm only talking now because this goddamn tinnitus, but the reason why I've really never been, I've always been public private about this is because at the same time it bothers me. I'm totally cool with him doing it because I don't have the answers. It's the same way I think about, uh, Trudeau. Trudeau is basically, we're almost the same age, you know, and, and, uh, I think there's a bunch of similarities we have just more like demographically and, and, and a few things like that. And you actually know some people in common and, and I think I could not do what he does. I couldn't do any better. So who the hell am I to criticize? You know, I kind of, I know you're supposed to expect things from your politicians, right? Of course, absolutely. But the reason why I'm like, I sort of hold back from like ripping into people like a lot of people do. Like, for example, a lot of people, uh, man, so many people know it was like ripping to Trump and because he's so rippable. I mean, he does a lot of ridiculous, says it's just his mannerisms, like, you know, just everything. But I could not do anywhere near, you know, with who the hell am I to criticize? That's why I kind of like have two minds about so much stuff. It's like so easy to criticize. I think that's what bugs me. It's very easy to criticize. It's hard to do. And that's my biggest struggle is the doing part. How do I, whatever I'm doing here, how do I make this unique, but, and like how do I create, yeah, you know what it is? How do I create something that has, kind of value. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Something that's... How do I create value? And by value, I absolutely do not mean monetary value. I mean like, oh, that's kind of nice. Here we go, Josh. You're on your path. You're on your way. Keep going, buddy. You're doing it. Yeah. So how, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, I want to make this the what the fuck uh, video. Let's see how many times I can say it before it gets banned or something. 
friend of mine was telling me about how he had read an article or it was a study or something that people who swear tend to be more intelligent. So that's my excuse. Uh, yeah, so, so question is, I have so many ideas to do artistic things, but I, I am falling back to doing painting as a medium because I, I do love it. And, and I have to sort of stick with one thing for a while, you know what I mean? To, to, to sort of feel like I've mastered it. But, um, like the thing that I haven't, I don't, I've never shown anybody is I've done <laughs> professionally was all digital work, right? So like I lived in the world of video games. I still do it, you know. I still do pretty active in it. The world of video games. So I'm I love technology and kind of sometimes I feel like I should be doing more I could do some pretty cool experimental stuff with technology. Like I was talking about VR, for example. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I've purposely avoided doing Little Sons because um, I didn't want to feel like there's one artist in Toronto who this guy is a pretty cool guy. His name's Tim Packer, and he does landscape paintings, and um, he has kind of like a, like a formula where he always has the sun, and like he does, you know, he he he's got his own methodology. Let's call it. And I don't want to. I don't want to. It'd be too. I feel like now that he's he's doing these suns, like so. It's so uh, so much part of his let's say style. I feel like I got. I, I try to avoid it, and in fact, I avoided doing undercoating because um, I was watching or talking to him or, or seeing like you know that's you know he was doing that all the time. So I purposely did a whole bunch of paintings, starting paintings without doing undercoating because I was thinking, oh man, I didn't want to like copy him directly even though i know rationally there's nothing new i mean that's not like a new technique i just don't want to i was just trying to trying to see if i can I, I really feel much better when i come up with the ideas myself and i think that's why a lot of time i'll do painting without reference so i prove to myself that you know it was coming from somewhere that was not someone else's invention but like I said, there's nothing really new. There's not. There's nothing. Maybe that's people who like people who like that. The the concept, the weird bullshit concept stuff, because it's someone else hasn't. Like the okay, there's one artist who I'll be honest, I don't know a hell of a lot about, and um, and most because the, the stuff that I saw of him was just like it was it, to me it was embarrassing that. He got so popular. It was Damien Hurst. And what I mean, like, I don't know a lot about is I haven't, like, dug deep into to him. Before I feel like I can talk about a subject, I usually need to do quite a bit of research. You know, I feel like I could talk about Tom Thompson because I've spent many, 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 many hours, many hours, like, observing, like, the real stuff. And Damon Hurst, like, I've never seen any of his stuff live. I, you know, I know his biography. I know how he got started. I know, like, the chronology from art school, like, for example, to Shark Tank, to all that kind of stuff. So I know enough to say I know of Damien Hurst. But the, I still, what's elusive to me is, like, the popularity. Like, it, like I, it, it's, it's sad because so much of it is just that those connections and timing, like, him meeting... Uh, Like, it was ballsy to, when he first got that chunk of money, to, to go buy a shark and then put in formaldehyde. Like, it was, but to me, it's still bullshit. <laughs> it's still bullshit. I need to see, like, a, a human in there. I need to see, like, is it, I don't know. I have to set the standards that I give myself to other people. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to impress me, you better be fucking good. 
I don't know. This, uh, blah, 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 blah. this is why I'm literally. Listen to me, I'm just babbling, babbling, babbling. Because I think that's 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 what what's what's elusive to me is the marketing promotion side. Like I've had, and it's, I, I, there's something wrong with me. I can't do it. I've had a number of people who have t texted me, messaged me, how much is that painting? And you know what happened? Like some dude, like two people, messaged me and they, they just they just said how much. And I'm like, seriously, like that's what you just you just come out with how much and I'm like hey how's it going like how much like and my first thought is how much how much go fuck yourself how much it's it's kind of like I'm not ah. now if I was smart and wanted to make money I'd be like all over that shit but I was just kind of like it pissed me off so much that it's like if you were to see someone in real life like at a, even at, even at a store uh, like someone who's let's I don't know Let's just say bake in a pie. You go to a bakery. When you walk in and you just look at the person and go, how much? You're like, seriously? Like, go, I don't want your fucking, take your money and shove it up your ass. That's how much I think about how much, you know? Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's why I, you know, <laughs> I need someone else to deal with the, the sales stuff because, <laughs> and I told my friend about this. He's like, what are you, stupid? Of course, just, just, just respond. And like, uh. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So there's probably been this is this is in the past. Um, past month, I think two or three people have have said almost identically the same thing. How much? Uh, I just don't like rudeness. Like, just it seems so disrespectful. I would never. I wouldn't do that to somebody. Also, too, because it's not like I'm not doing this thinking about oh, I can make money by doing this shit here. This is like me putting my my heart and soul into it and trying my best. And I didn't do that so you can ask me how much. Like, fuck off. Oh, yep. How much? Say that to my fate. Like, we, yeah. I really, that's the other thing, too. It's about the internet, too. It's like, I don't think people would be anywhere near as rude or aggressive if they did it to people in real life. I don't know that. I wouldn't. <laughs> I can be kind of intimidating, and I know it. <laughs> so it's like, seriously? Really? Okay. All right. But I like to be nice. I, I like to, I like I like nice people. More, no more, not nice. Sorry, nice, respectful people. People who like I like to treat people all. The, I like to treat people the same, and I do. I'll treat a beggar on the street and the Pope exactly the same if I met him. Cause I I grew up a lot around a lot of. I grew up in two worlds: in the regular world of middle class, even lower lower class in Toronto, and then the the total elite of Canada, right? So we had, because of, of schools I went to and, and family, friends and shit. So I, I was part of both. And I'll tell you, man, I, I don't give a fuck who you are. I've met world leaders. I've met, I danced with that, what was that, KGB, the former KGB's wife. <laughs> and all kinds of crazy shit. And I don't know. I wish more people were like that. Yeah, how much I know, but Cindy, I just, I just, it's just, it causes me an incredible amount of stress to think about selling paintings. And I had a show where I actually had help people organizing it in October of 2017. <laughs> I sold 11 paintings in like three hours. But I didn't have to do any of the sailing. I was just walking around talking to people and stuff. And they had like, uh, they had like almost like staff managing that stuff. You know, and I think that's the way I have to do it. And also, I don't expect much from the internet, from people on the internet. Because to be honest, I'm like, rich people buy art. That's, that's the reality. 
to you got to be rich to buy art for it to be at all worth it because like you know when i do the math on some of the paintings and then you know it's sometimes it's less than minimum it's like like four dollars an hour or something and then you, you know when you like i remember there's a, there was a guy oh actually i had this interesting conversation with a guy uh on for, on facebook who messaged me he's a, he's a younger guy in the uk i look he looks like in his 20s and he asked me how much but in a nicer way so i was just talking i can't remember he was like oh wow I, you know i'd love to have one of your paintings but it's just i can't you know it's way too much and then i sort of broke it down to him you know how much the material costs were um and then i talked about like the shipping and, and packing costs and, and 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 like you know i talked about like some of the larger paintings you know to build a crate it's like a thousand bucks just to build a freaking crate for some for one of these and to ship it like you know it, you know it cost me uh like a 30 by 40 i sent out to california how much did that cost it was probably about a hundred hundred and twenty dollars in materials packing materials because i have to make a, a custom little box around those ones were just double you know sided uh cardboard but it was custom i had to custom build it with you know insulation and all this styrofoam uh, wrapping all this shit so it was 120 bucks for materials because i don't i don't cheap out when it comes to stuff like that but it's sort of cost and then it was like was it like three or four hundred bucks to send it so you're looking at you know hundreds of dollars just to like send a painting that's not even that big You know, you, your costs, like, on a, yeah, I mean, to send one of these 48 by 64, it could easily, like, if it, to send it to the UK, it could be easily, like, 1500 bucks, $2,000, just the, the cost of sending it. So, yeah, I don't know. I need someone else to, to sell this stuff for me, because I don't want to do it just turns me off so much and the irony is that I can run a business I've run businesses you know I know I know exactly what's involved but this is like super personal stuff this is like oh nugget <clears throat> again just don't want to reiterate I'm just babbling because stupid fucking insane what is this noise what is this noise it's like a <sighs> why did this have to happen sorry nugget i'm kind of busy right now so hard. um What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I had one person. Well, should I talk about it? Ah, oh, fuck it. I just so many times I just think, you know, what the hell am I holding back for? Because like I could be dead in a week. So I have one person who's who's like a the reason why I've been holding back from selling stuff and trying to sell it is that you know there was an opportunity where someone who's like super. I don't know if connected is the right word, but let's just say this guy's like a world renowned in a way. And he's very tapped into the world entertainment scene. Like, I, I, won't, I don't think I'll ever say his name just because, I don't know, it hasn't happened yet. And there was a potential of him, like, you know, maybe being like my, not even like an, maybe, I don't know, like an agent, like a. Here, look at this. Look what I got down here. This is what I like. Top. Oh, yeah, I've got to move. Oh, huh. no, zoom out. There you are. Not yet. Hi, baby. Can you see me in the camera? Oh, you're so cute. There you are, little girl. Are you okay? Okay. Oh, so I'm revealing all my secrets just to stop. A noise in my head. That's a bit sad. Okay. Oh, my mom was a. Uh, my mom was here for a bit. Hey, mom. Okay. Uh. 
Oh god, this fucking noise. John, it's horrible. It's horrible. Ugh. It's really horrible, man. All right, just keep talking. Just keep moving forward. All right. Oh, yeah. So there was a potential where, you know, I'd be happy to give up. It wasn't even about the money. It was more about, like, the amount. Uh, what's the, what am I looking for? My most valuable thing is my time. Way, way, way more than money or anything else. Time. So for me to put effort into the sales thing, it's got to be worth my time. And uh, the 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 reality is, the only people I should be should be talking to in sales are rich people who can drop thousands of bucks, and and it wouldn't affect them in the slightest. You know what I mean? And also people who like to collect art, you know, and who like a certain type of art. I mean, I should only be focusing on that. And in a way, I that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been I haven't been pushing, trying to sell through my website and doing it directly like maybe I could but it's just it's crazy because like, pretty much everyone who's bought any of my any of my paintings like let's say I've sold like I don't know 25 in the past couple of years they've all been wealthy people every single one of them you know it hasn't been regular folk because you know in order for, for it to be worth it for me just to do it it's, it's I have to put it Prices that are just to make it worth it, my time, you know? It's a shame. So, I really need that. Unfortunately, for me to. Well, my strategy is still focus on doing the best the best that I can keep on striving and again a lot of I, I I'm doing this just for survival to be honest like just like for because there's very few things I can do now with this goddamn um, brain tumor thing it's definitely limited my what's it called opportunities this this painting was really, in some ways, keeping me alive. Like I'm I'm doing this because I have to do it. I would uh, I don't know what I would do with my time otherwise. Like this really, what I'm doing literally this very second, which is talking while painting. I'm definitely in a state of calm. Like it's nice and it's like if I was to stop, I would be, I'd have to go up to my bedroom and just put the covers over my head and 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 live in this horrible place i just saw this movie not too uh, long ago called get out by the by the comedian peel and i forget his name <clears throat> what is my point oh yeah if you ever see it's, it's like it's like a, whore, a dark um horror uh dark comedy a horror comedy i'm not sure and uh i don't want to give too many spoilers but let's just say i'll, I'll tell about one one little part about it is where the guy is in the, the is it the forgotten place, the dark place. He's basically let's just say he's hypnotized and he's his body is frozen and he can see like reality is this tiny little view and he's stuck and he's frozen, floating in space, and it's like some sort of in, insane torture kind of like experience. That's what it's like. That's what if if I, if I'm not doing right now, I could I could spin off into this 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 place of. Where it's not, uh, it's not fun, man. <clears throat> so I have to do this. I'm not doing this because it's some. I mean, this is my lifelong thing. I always actually knew that I was gonna do this since I was young, since I was very young. I had premonitions. So these are either self fulfilling Well, this is self fulfilling premonitions, or if you believe in any kind of like 
thing beyond, if you believe any kind of like uh, consciousness beyond, I'm just trying to say, if you believe any kind of psychic bullshit, then it's true. Because I always knew I was going to do this. I even knew what I was going to look like. I knew I was going to be kind of heavy set, barrel chested, kind of when I was young like 15 so ah uh, what the hell I'm literally talking about things that I've never never even told closest friends and I fear that I may be being really stupid about this Because what if I don't die in like two weeks? <laughs> and then it actually matters what I say. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of like, there's a, was it a quote? Was it David Bowie? I'm pretty sure. It's, it's, and this is kind of like part of the reasons why I'm doing this. Is uh, as if you're not, if you're comfortable, you're, you're not being, you're not, Achieving your potential, let's just say, say something like that. You know, oh yeah, maybe I should do something like this. Let's, let's uh, see. Now I'm getting somewhere. Now I'm like, I've stopped trying to like wor I, I stopped worrying a little about stuff. Like, what the hell is this thing? You know, I would. Oh, I'm so jealous of of Urshwin. Is no, uh, uh. Iskowitz, what the, what, Gershwin Iskowitz, I forget, because he did these so simple paintings, these abstract paintings, which I actually like, and I, I wish I could get away with doing that, like, that would be a, that would, that's still my dream, is that if I could make paintings that people actually, some rich, a bunch of rich people pay me money, and that I could actually, you know, do this, I would do this so much more intensely, like it actually, uh, you know, get a, a proper painting studio because that's something I would love to do is have a, my own painting studio. And it's something I had, I, you know, I used to, uh, I spent a year and I, I rented a painting studio when I was 20, about 25. And I loved it. I fucking loved it. Now it's different. I have to, you know, I'm a dad, so I have to, I have responsibilities. But I like to get a painting studio where I walk in and I have like 20 easels set up and I have like floors I don't give a shit about. And, you know, I don't have to worry about like, getting paint on my dining room table <laughs> you know and i can have my dog just walk in and and that's that's where i need to get to but i don't know how to do the money part you know you know what's hard about the money part too is that you know i've already established a kind of price and i can't lower it uh, you know, I've thought a lot about price. I've got a whole chart that sort of breaks it down, and it's based on, like, you know, literally half of what um, another artist I know is, is, is charging, but he has more, he definitely has more years of doing it, uh, of sales, right? And it's also based on, like, well, that's not just based on that. It's based on, like, a lot of experience, and I know what, like, you know, around the price range of sales. What the fuck am I saying here? What was I going to say? Oh, I forget already. I already forget. God damn, that's one of the problems of this stupid thing in my head is that it fucks with your uh, short-term memory. What a terrible thing, because my brain is my best asset. Oh, this is kind of neat. Let's just do this. I literally forgot what I was just talking about. Don't remember, don't remember. <sighs> so, I don't even know if I've done anything that much to this painting. <laughs> okay, look, at, look, I'm going to put some green in the sky. Let's just do like, what would green look like? Why not? Oh, Iskowitz. Yeah, yeah, I love, I want to just do some fun stuff where it's just being free with it all. But I just feel like, I don't know, like, God. let's just say it's hard being me, I'm not, not easy on myself here. 
Bla, 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 bla. Okay. What about, what should I do? Okay, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, I was gonna do, I did it, I did that in the water. Let's uh, to talk about blah, 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 Schnauzel, Rizzle, Razzle. Okay. <laughs> oh, this this is really, really depressing. So I can't seem to get into even local shows. I did like we're not talking the world famous here. We're talking stuff where just like hundreds of people show, and I just you know I was uh, just rejected for the the you know, like the past seven things in a row, and I was I was looking at the stuff they accepted, and that I think that's the most upsetting thing to me is like it's like holy fuck I was I did st like I should probably show stuff that I did when I was like sixteen. And it was like, that's literally the kind of stuff they're all accepting. They're accepting this. I don't know who it's. Like, I feel like sometimes I want to just go dark. What I mean is, like, I'm not going to say who I am. Make up some fake persona. Because I think that's part of what's hindering me is. Yeah. Uh. Life is just not fair. That's it. That's all it is. Life is just not fair. And I gotta continue to just suck it up. Suck it up, buttercup. Can't expect anything's gonna fall in your lap. We just gotta keep on doing it. That's that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep on doing whatever the hell this this thing is. Maybe something will come out of it. Cause that's actually that's usually the experience, isn't it? Like you try hard and hard. You try so hard and you put so much of yourself into it, and, and it's not till like you've reach like something happens and things are moving forward then you're like oh well that wasn't so bad <laughs> you know and i'm just at that stage where i've got to realize this is going to be years i got to keep on doing this thing for years even though i've been i've spent decades doing this i haven't been promoting it for decades so it's not it's unrealistic for me to expect anyone would give a flying crap about anything i've done like there's one dude who uh, I noticed kind of likes some of my stuff, and he he said yesterday, "Hey, it looks, you know, uh, what was he saying? I can't remember. Oh, it was the painting I did yesterday of the weird fucking sky thing? He's like, oh, I really like this new direction, this diversity. I'm like, holy fuck! And I said, well, hey, man, have you seen my website? I I have like almost 900 things there, and I have tried many, many different styles. Like I've tried experiment with so much and, I, and then I, I did a sort of series about i don't know 10 paintings or so that had this very similar style of the one oh this one here i don't know if you can see that oh wait yeah front is it this one here oh yeah this one here i've done like a whole whole shit ton of paintings like with this kind of abstract style i love it this was fun to do that was fun now I look at this and I go oh that sucks that's crap i think i might I think I might go in and, and finesse it a bit. Look at, like, and I actually I might go in and finesse this, this part right there. 
All right. So my point is, I know what I've done, and I know I've done, like I've spent thousands of hours, thousands and thousands of hours. And it's it's a bit of a downer because no one no one could ever see that unless somehow magically they could see all the things I've done. Like, like I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of different things. Yeah, now I'm just complaining. Now just just ignore ignore all of this. This is just blah 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 blah. blah. Hmm. Maybe what color is this? Maybe it's kind of a nice blue. Let's do that. Blue, 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 blue. You know what painting I like? This painting. This one. I like this one. There is a painting by Tom Thompson that has that I was looking at and I forgot to show for the orange clumps. I have it somewhere on my computer. But I just like the way this one sort of just evolved. You know, and I like the random white little birches on the side and I like this one. This one looks nice. So I actually have it next to my I have it up here in front of me. It just as a source of like hey man, there's something about that one. Oh, maybe I'll do Oh, maybe I'll steal some ideas from there. Yeah, okay. What could I do? What could I do? Don't want to whoosh, whoosh. Maybe I could, should do that. Maybe I should put some black lines right across. Maybe. Because there's something dull about this painting right now. What is it? What can I do? Okay, I'm going to go in and get some orange yellow. What is this? Let's just. Oh, that's a pretty cool color. <laughs> what if I did like a light peach color? Oh, you can't see. Okay, I'm going to move this over a bit. How do I do this? Move this all over? Yeah. Okay. It's so loud. Oh my god. I can't believe it. like I can I've acclimatized myself to this to some degree. Like it is so fucking loud. Woo! <sighs> oh, come on. Just give me a minute. I'd like one minute of quiet, please. <clears throat> what am I going to do over here? Oh, yeah, I had an idea. What the hell was it? Can I just put, like, little sparks of color on it? Or that, does that look stupid? I don't know. Let's just splash it up. Let's just... I might regret that. That's not a good color. All right, so... Let's fix that. Oh my. It's so loud, it's making my eyes blurry. I'm not, I, 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 ah. Uh, fuck off. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. You could do it, you could do it, you could do it, you could do it. Yeah. Oh, 
come on, seriously. One of the funniest paintings that I think I've ever done is a horribly ugly painting. <laughs> when I got diagnosed with this thing, when I actually found out what it was, I did a painting of <laughs> of, uh, of what I thought the brain tumor was, like in a landscape. It's this ugly little pink tree thing. It's such an ugly painting. <laughs> and I called how something like, how long have you been there? Because maybe I've had this thing. I've always had a problem with hear uh comprehension when it comes to someone talking my hearing is completely fine but i've been so much so that i've overcompensate by visual like i have to okay fuck it okay what does it say first sentence i heard was when i joined it's so fucking loud <laughs> yeah dude i have got the worst tinnitus oh yeah well If you just just popped on on here, Wellesley, I was uh I, I don't know if that's how you say is that how you say your name Wellesley, Wesley Wesley that's probably it right. I was in a really good swearing mode. I was like every other thing was fuck 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 fuck, <laughs> and I had an idea of like what if I just kept on swearing and see how far before Facebook would like ban me or something or. No, okay, it's okay, baby. Oh yeah, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something like uh I was gonna do something like Oh yeah like uh some of the sunset light hitting some of this whatever the hell this is. Oh Okay. Oh, that's gonna suck. I think I've already fucked it up. Okay, I don't want pink. Pink is a hor. This is like a horrible color. I would uh, go fuck yourself. Let's just do it. Nugget, I hear you. I hear you. But this is kind of an interesting kind of color. Look at that. Okay, if light's coming in this way, so where, what, what? Like I don't even know what it. What is this? Is this ground? Who? Kind of weird, kind of. I want. I do want. So where's the sun? I kind of screwed this up, didn't I? It's like I shouldn't have put white right there. All right, fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna do yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm putting pink in here. Maybe pink does not exist in Algonquin Park, but it does now. <laughs> Suckers. Suckers. And I've, I've done this before. It's color. It's color is coming straight from... I wish someone would tell me how to say his name. Odlian Rodin. But he's this wicked-ass... Oh, let me just show you. Someone's got to tell me how to say this guy's name. He's been one of my favorite artists my entire life. Let me show you. I'm going to go to computer view. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, D E L O L O. There he is. Okay. This guy, I've always liked his stuff because he had this kind of magical flavor to him. And I definitely, like, I'll just show you stuff. I was just, I was just doing what I, okay, let's see if I can, it might need a second to come, come clean. Okay, so he has a painter's style. Look, I, I totally steal this all the time. Um, let me try to find a painting that shows you what I'm talking about. Can you hear my dog making weird noises? Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, check this out. I have to go to my website too for one second. Where is it? Druckman.com. I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
And it kind of looks like, okay, see this kind of pattern, this beautiful kind of like strange pattern that just sort of evolves from, it evolves from like flowers and stuff, uh, but it becomes a pattern. Okay, maybe I'm like, I haven't, uh, okay, I'm babbling. Let me just see this one. I can hardly see it. This one. Okay. Uh, this one maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my website. I'm gonna look at uh, where was that. Okay. Uh, um, what the hell am I doing? He's. Uh... Okay, the last self portrait I ever did was when I was 25. Self portraits. Here we go. So I've done a self portrait in like. 25, 35, 45, almost 25 years, 23 years. Okay. So, and I remember specifically, look at this, this kind of like weird, strange, amorphous stuff. That was from, that pattern came from Odile and Rodin. Look at, what is it? And then there was another one. Uh, what's the old, is it a couple? Old couple? How do I find it? Lovers? No, I call them lovers, even though it's kind of a, I really don't like that word. Lovers it just sounds so goofy. I called it lovers, two lovers, because it had a kind of story to it. I'm not gonna, like, my hands have got paint on it. I can't touch it right now. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So this one, I like, look at this. This is kind of like, I, I was, see, here's the thing. I mastered this shit when I was young. And I feel like, you know, be like, ah, fuck. Okay, I'm rambling. Okay, so check this out. Come on, you slow. So, okay. so Wesley, my website's awesome. Look how sl fucking slow it is. Oh, I used a, uh, well, I'll tell you in a second. So check this out. So I was uh, 22 when I did this one. And look at that. Isn't that, like, that is beautiful little, I don't know if, can you can see this? That is beautiful, gorgeous stuff. And I'm telling you, that's that's up there with some of Odile and Rodin's kind of patterny type shit. And that's where, I love it, man. His stuff is wicked. Like I'm trying to find one that has a, a oh yeah maybe this one this might have a semblance to it let me try to find one that's large uh, those are all kind of crap and small but damn it okay so see how kind of there's this weird flowing it's still resolving itself give give it a second I'll go back to my painting but but check that out isn't that isn't that pattern beautiful so like <sighs> Like, I, you know, people think, like, someone's saying, well, well, do you do anything besides, like, landscapes? I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, I spent, like, I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of paintings that are so different. And, and so this painting was about, look at this, I, I think I wrote a little thing in here. I don't have time to do all this shit. Okay, so the concept is an old man remembering his wife who recently died. She's floating up in the corner. It's meant to be a little ambiguous and dreamlike, inspired by Gustav Klimt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so some of Klimt's stuff is also kind of has this, uh, the dark and light. And also, so if you look at his the style of this old dude, it has a very uh, Klimt-like, uh, you know, a figurative style. You know, uh, and I remember, I, you know, isn't that kind of, that's pretty awesome for a 22-year-old idiot. You know, here's a shriveled up old lady, and he's remembering her, what she was like, you know, in her, in her youth. But she's dead now, so this is just like his memory. So he's, it's like he's like in an old folks home. God damn, that's awesome. Maybe I should do more stuff like this instead of this fucking, fucking whatever the hell bullshit I'm doing right now. Where is it? Oh, I gotta go to yeah. Let me just close this. This stuff. Here, look at this. What is this? Uh, yeah. Well, I love Klimt. I I was into Klimt before, for sure, before he was like as popularized as now. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. I do remember back in the day, a lot of girls when I was at in their dorm, like I'm this is this is just how my just my memory is working, had like the kiss. Gusta, you know, Klimt's kiss painting and they're, they're that was like a very popular poster <laughs> so there were people that were i guess you know what it was though at in all the art school stuff i've been to he was never really talked about he was a uh, he was almost he was almost dismissed and i think it's because a lot of his stuff was very designy almost illustration so 
I don't think he got his props, but I was looking at some of his stuff. Like, I love the one about, is it the three stages of women or something? Like, there's, like, young, then, you know, like, fertile 22, whatever, and then old lady or something. And I love, like, the, the how that's almost like a like dead person. So he does some really good shit. Yes, of course I pay more with you. That's, that's exactly what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I, I have to talk. Like... Oh, to reduce this thing. God damn it, I hate remembering. I hate remembering when I have this ringing. Because it makes it come back with a vengeance. Oh, now I feel like throwing up. Ooh. All right, so how do I make this more unique? That's not a question I'm asking anybody. I'm talking to myself. Oh. I definitely feel like Ralphing. Whew. I just gotta move the camera back just so you can see what I got right here. Look at this. Can you see right here? Look. Hello. Hi, baby. You are so cute, aren't you? Yes, you are. You are so cute. I got pain on my hands. Oh, look. Here's what's happening. I'm gonna have to. I just have to move the computer so I can show you what's happening. This is what's happening. Aren't you? You wanna? You want some attention? Come on, up, 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 up. Hello, baby. My hands clean. Hello. So cute you are. You want some attention, don't you? Watch, she'll lick. She will lick forever. She loves licking. I make sure there's no paint there. There's no paint there. No. Oh, you're so cute. Make sure there's no paint. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> she. Really wants me to play with her, but I can't. My hands are too wet. Okay. How do I zoom, 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 zoom? Okay. All right. I gotta tear this thing up a bit. It's not quite. I think it's, I'm just being too careful. <laughs> Oops. That was not careful. That was <laughs> the opposite of careful. Hmm. <laughs> Fucked that up, didn't I? Well, maybe I'll just put this aside for now. It kind of feels like it needs like this, like white streaks. So you know those those uh, what are they called? Gustavi kind of stuff happening over here. Just need something to break it up a bit. Maybe I need some finger painting. Oops. What if I just took my finger and I went, because this is what he, yeah, this is now what I'm talking about. It has to be more, like, what's, there's no way to describe it other than just fluid. Like, like put these bits of blue in here. No, I, I'm on a promise. I'll give you some time in just a minute. I'm going to have to go just to, like, these purples. I'll bring them down here and make different shapes and stuff. Maybe I'll put some purple up here. Yeah, what like this is purple. Okay. Um Well, that's blue. That's kind of a nice effect. This is more kind of what I'm talking about. Let's put up what about a light purple? 
Let's just, what happens if I do that? Can you even see it? Oh. What if I took some orange? Yeah. This is what I need to do. Let's get some reds going in here. Should I see that? But I don't like that white there. That was crap. Okay, this might be a little extreme, but no, no, I don't like that. Do I know it? Do I like that? No, I don't. Okay, so let's get some. What kind of cover that up with blue? Get rid of that white. The white should not be there. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a pattern. Tap, tap, tap. Here, let's try that. Let's do a little pattern. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh. Ooh, that's a crazy fucked up yellow. Let's put more of that shit in there. Why? Why did you do that? Who knows why? This is that. Yeah, stop caring about <coughs> being Tom Thompson and just do something. Yeah, let's fuck. Let's just do this. Wait, no. Where's a better color? Where's a yellow? Where's a? Let's just take it away from Tom Thompson. Sorry, Tom. You're you're uh, you do some wicked ass stuff. Someone was just texting me. There's a. A woman who's an art oh that's a horrible color that's a wrong color who's an artist in, in in British Columbia and she was saying how we were just talking about something this is not revealing anything extreme but she's talking about what was she saying how her oh yeah uh, heh, it's kind of funny we were just having this random chat oh I remember she texted me like at this is funny it was like this is on Wednesday, I think. It was like 8 o'clock, and I was already, it was like 8.15. I was already in bed, like, just because I had such a, the, the ringing was so goddamn loud. I just needed a break, and she was telling me how her dad used to be babysat by Tom Thompson's girlfriend. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. That's cool. Give the shit. Go fuck yourself. Let's just do some stuff in here. Let's do some stuff. I don't like that color. Let me get some. Let me do this. That's a nice color. Come here, you. Where was that color? Do I like that color? Maybe I don't like that color now. All I know is something's happening. Something's happening. I don't know what's happening. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Just a little babbling. Your dad didn't care. That's that's things I'm caring too much about trying to caring too much. So I'm just going to go and do what feels natural, which is just to go a little bit. A little bit what? A little bit different. Yeah, and that kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I don't even know if that's good or not right now. But that's so. Let me just do some patterns here. All right, why don't I just stop there for now? Did I make it any better? I think I did. I think I added some some flavor that wasn't trying to be so Tom Thompson. So Tom Thompson, it was more... Something different. I definitely feel like painting some more, so maybe I'm gonna. What time is it? Oh, I gotta do a bunch of shit. What time is it? It's uh twelve twenty. 
<sighs> and I could do another painting right now. But maybe I should eat something. Okay, I think I'm going to stop this. I like how it's evolved a bit into something else. I feel, you know what? It was just so dull around here. It was so boring. So I'm glad I went in and, and added some stuff around here. And and this is more kind of like the stuff I was showing before, was, which was like that Rodan, just random kind of like things happening. So so this is, I'm, I'm much happier. Um, it's, it, I, I have to step back from it and look at it from a distance. I got a feeling that maybe I need to puff out these, these green things more, but what I'm, what I'm trying to say is I feel like it's more now, it's like, yes, we got Canada represented, right? Go Canada. Yes, we got iconic tree that is the memory of what the fuck, uh, West Wind. Is that, that's the name of the painting? And like, you can see if you go to West Wind, I stole this idea from Tom Thompson, which is he had these like hills in the background with these vertical stripes kind of going and it created a flatness. So I, yeah, I ripped that off, man. That was awesome. And then I went in, I, I ripped off uh, Odile and Rodin with these little googly little things. And up here, this was, um, I was, see this, the, the, the orange and the blue, that was a little bit of Odile and Rodin as well. And a little bit of uh, Kandinsky. I like uh, Kandinsky. I don't talk about him too much. And this little squiggly little bits over here, where I was thinking about a little bit of Chagall coming in there. And then, so the overall, th blah, 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 boom. Let's just uh, <laughs> shut the hell up now. <laughs> yeah, let's shut the hell up now. And, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a little break, and I should be back a little later. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I think... Uh, What do you think? Should I, I like this one. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. I really, yesterday, this was fun to do. This one back here. I now that I look at it, I uh, I think I, I should go back and add refinement to down here, like I did in the painting I just did now. Uh, I'll show you here. This is the one I'm talking about. Pants are probably falling off. So, how am I gonna do this? Is this wet? This one, if you look at it down the bottom part down here, it looks still very rough. And I got there was a comment someone said yesterday where they liked how it was calm at the bottom and crazy at the top. And I, that's kind of what I was think, feeling at the time. But I'm gonna make it even more calm by cleaning this up a bit, making the lines. Uh, see how it's like rough right there? Look at just quick little brush strokes coming down. Look, compared to this, uh, I have to put it here. Compared to to these ones, where it's much more purposeful. It actually, up close, it still looks a little rough, but that's okay. But it was definitely more more purposeful, and there's a little bit more details in it. So, oh, I'm such an idiot. You were just looking at the front view. Shit. All that blabbing was for nothing. <laughs> I was a stupid idiot. Okay, so I was saying how this, see how how that stuff looks just very rough here. But the painting I was just working on, I think it'd be nice if I add more refinement like here. Just, just go with it. All it is is I'm going to go with a, a smaller brush and add more little details. That's what I mean by it. Yeah, so that's that's maybe what I'll do with this one here. And now that I look at this one, you can see the same thing. Like I just in at one go, and I do like the colors. Even though some <laughs> some dude in England says, you know, was, was saying something like. Uh, you know, master your craft. What are you doing? Those colors are off on I'm like, fuck, I like this colors. Go, go, go fuck yourself, basically. Yeah. Anyway, but look, look how rough this is down here. That looks like a grade school painting. So I'm going to go in with this painting as well and clean up the bottom. And maybe 
Look, I gotta tell you, I love doing this. This, you know. Maybe I'll do more. I don't know. Maybe, like, yeah. Okay. Taking a break. See you in a bit. Peace out.